I will work your betrayal for good. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. Psalm 41, 9. David experienced the agony of the Judas in his life a thousand years before me, and you have experienced it two thousand years after me. As long as there is evil in the world, there will also be Judases. Who is Judas? Not someone on the outward fringes of relationships, but someone who is close to you because he is close to your heart. The word familiar in this scripture is shalom. It is a word of peace and blessing. It portrays the kind of person in whom you feel you could put your trust. He comes to you and lives with you in a peaceable, a peaceable and friendly way. Slowly he wins your confidence and trust. And like David, you completely unreasonably trust in him, opening your heart, your banqueting table and your treasure chest to him. You trust in a human being in a way that you should only trust me, your God. This is one mistake I didn't make with Judas. See, I knew what he was, but unlike you, I loved him in spite of him being a devil. You cannot love someone whom you know is a devil, a diablo, a divider, and a splitter. But I did. And so though I knew what he was, the pain was just as great, for I knew what he could have been. Though I knew what he was, the pain was just as great, for I knew what he could have been. But I didn't stop him. I said to him, that thou doest do, that thou doest do, do quickly. John 13, 27. I would have talked to him personally, reasoned with him, showed him that I had known his plans and that I could have thwarted his plans by disappearing unexpectedly off the scene, but I didn't. I let him be what he was. I let him lift his heel against me. He went out and sold me minutes after I had given him the sop from my hand. Sometimes you too have to let the friends whom you have trusted lift up their heels against you so that they can discover they are not the angels they are you thought they are or were. The word heel comes from the root word means that means Jacob. There is a Jacob in every life. I alone can take that Jacob and make him prince. Listen, I alone can take that Jacob and make a prince out of him and I will, but not before I wrestle with him to the breaking point. So my child, no, you are not alone in your trials and testings. I am going to let you pass through this test, but as a result of it, I will make you, I will make a son of God out of you. Yes, even you. And out of the bitterness shall come sweetness. I will work your betrayal for good.